So of course, I would like to go ahead and test out my Fortnite skills by making it harder for me to go ahead and compete with the average Fortnite player out there by trying a wide variety of different controllers you guys probably never seen or heard about strictly designed for children. So here's a controller that I had for a while that I've been dying to go ahead and show off to you people. So you're probably thinking, how is this even a controller when it just looks like a statue? Well, if we go ahead and grab it and look right under it, then you will notice that all the buttons are right here. Like, look at this thing. It's so weird. And I gotta hold it as if I'm about to go ahead and throw a football any second. This controller has literally no reason to exist. No reason! And somehow, it has been created to go ahead and be used on the PlayStation. Bro, this controller just feels so weird to actually use. It's circular. Like, most controllers look like boomerangs, but this one is just a circle ball-shaped controller that I just need to accept and just use like normal against PC players. Oh, this guy's trying to kill me so he can get the box. It's so cute. What you doing, bro? I'm about to finish this kid. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god. Oh, did that boy get disrespected from across? Okay, now he got disrespected. Oh! Oh, please stop me! All right, this kid got disrespected. Who else is ready for it? Uh, maybe you? Come on, bro. Stop struggling. Take it! Take all of that! Oh. Oh. More people to disrespect. Oh. You ready for it, bro? You ready? You, you, you ready for it, bro? Who else is ready for it? Oh. <laughs> You're so scared. You don't know where I'm at. That guy got hell hella disrespected. Hold on, I'm about to disrespect this other kid. Thank you. What's up, homie? Thank you. I'm about to get a snipe kill in a second. Look at this. Alright. <laughs> that was a pretty fun game. So this controller right here is a pretty unique looking one. It's shaped like a square and it has a pretty weird and unique controller button design that I've never seen before. Of course, we have the square X circle and triangle buttons in a curve instead of it being up, down, left and right. Why exactly? I'm not sure. We also have these triangles right here, which I guess replace the D-pad. The analog sticks don't feel that weird, but another thing that actually makes me very, very triggered is of course these buttons right here all the way in the back, which of course you can go ahead and use to aim down the sight in the game. And it also uses batteries. Why do we need to use batteries in the year 2019? Jeez, man, this controller feels so weird. Look at this. Bro, I really want to like this controller, but I just can't. It's just so bad. Like, why is it laid out like this? I guess the only good part about actually using this controller here is the fact that we do have aim assist, which does make it a little bit more easier for me when I'm trying to get kills. But let's just see how good this thing actually is when we play against PC players. It was popping, bro. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, oh. I blame on the controller. 100% the controller takes full responsibility for that. And that one, too. Oh. Oh! Oh! Bro, this guy is really bad with the bow and arrow. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh! How did I even get him from that range, boy? You know, I don't want to say this controller is bad, but I don't want to lie to you at the same time. So we're just gonna say it's not worth actually purchasing, even if you're a child. All right, how about we turn this thing off and never use it again and then throw it in the trash.
bro, this is about to be me in a couple seconds. But anyways, here's the other controller that I want to go ahead and showcase to you. Now, you've probably seen this one in the store. It's designed specifically for young gamers, such as myself. Now, here's the controller. And I gotta say, it's very, very tiny, man. Bro, look how small this controller is. Like, look at this. I'm literally holding it with one hand. This is the smallest controller ever. Right here, you guys get to see the triggers. They're so tiny and small, like my two fingers can barely even touch them together. Like, look at the size of this thing compared to my hand. I gotta go ahead and like cramp my whole entire fingers just in order to use this thing. To be honest, the layout on this is not as bad as the other two that I showcased. At least the setup is way more presentable than the other ones because th those, those button layouts just did not make any sense to me whatsoever, man. Imagine if you told your mom you needed a brand new controller and she pulled up to you with this thing right here. How would you even feel, man? How would you even feel to be honest? Cause I, I'd, be, I'd be highly disrespected. Ooh, baby, where you going? You're just sitting there, huh? Will I actually get him? Will I actually get him? Oh, oh! I actually got him! Wow, I didn't think I would actually snipe him with the rocket. Okay. All of you go get it. All of you get it. I gotta stop being reckless, guys. I'm being very disrespectful towards this team. And I'm, and I'm ranking in kills right now, bro. Let's not forget about that. I am ranking in a whole bunch of kills. And I'm being very disrespectful right now. Oh, snap. Come on, right here, right here, boy. Right here, on me. Uh, he's still alive? Come on, right here. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it! <laughs> what was he doing? Bro, I was trying to get I was trying to bait him to explode himself. You're done. You're done. Where's your friend at? Oh he died? That's a shame, bro. I guess I'll have to replace you with him! Alright, so I went ahead and just found like two more rocket launchers. So uh I I guess we're gonna be playing in this sort of reckless manner right now. You know, I could just kill you normally, but because I'm very disrespectful... <laughs> this is kind of like hurting my fingers now. Like, it was fun at first, but now I'm getting very concerned. So, uh, either we fix this problem very, very soon, or, uh, uh I'm gonna be going to, uh, the hospital. Bro, stop. I'm trying to tell a story here. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, th this controller is starting to feel not very good. I wonder who's camping right here. Hmm, what's up, bro? Remember me? <laughs> oh, I ran out. Wait, hold on, not anymore. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. Thanks for waiting, man. What's up, bro? What are you doing, camping? That's not nice. Oh, who do we have here? Who do we have right here, bro? Hey, he's our friend. Three piece again? You ready? <laughs> well, with the power of trying so, so hard, I managed to win that game with this very, very bad controller. <laughs> who even uses this thing? Like, honestly. Well, let me go ahead and introduce you to the most overpowered yet underrated controller out there in the market, which of course increases the amount of kills that you'll go ahead and get on Fortnite. Now, I gotta say, man, this thing is an absolute beast. Let's go ahead and turn this futuristic controller on. Let's learn! So every single button that you actually go ahead and press here is voice powered, as you guys can see here. We also got our R1 and L1 right here. Kind of a different looking type of vibe, but I gotta respect it. I actually seen on YouTube of a guy who actually went ahead and modified the controller here to play a couple of games on Smash. But unfortunately, since I'm a YouTuber and not a computer engineer, uh, I, I, I don't really think I can do that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and support the video. Drop a like, leave a blue thumbs up, and uh...
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a see all you guys later. Okay.